All right, before we dive into the demo, I wanna review the Progress What's Up Gold NTA Plus architecture with you. Across the top of your screen are a few examples of network devices that can generate and export flow. Flow in varying formats such as NetFlow v5, v9, IPFix, SFlow, and JFlow are exported and sent to the What's Up Gold NTA Plus collector. The What's Up Gold NTA Plus collector, deployable in VMware, Hyper-V, KVM, AWS, Azure, or in Google Cloud, is where your flow is stored and where you will analyze traffic, define custom alerting, define dashboards, generate reports, and more. What's Up Gold provides a centralized UI experience populating essential charts and graphs from the flows processed by the NTA Plus collector via an integration between the two appliances. In addition, What's Up Gold customers can elect to acquire Progress Flowmon probes in order to generate enriched flows containing application insights and calculated network performance metrics such as round trip time, server response time, retransmissions, and jitter. Now let's have a look at how you can leverage What's Up Gold NTA Plus to identify anomalous network traffic and investigate who or what the source of that anomalous tra network traffic is. Here is the What's Up Gold NTA Plus dashboard, where I have added a few charts to highlight bandwidth utilization, packets per second, and flows per second. These charts are populated with statistics representing the flows stored and analyzed on the What's Up Gold NTA Plus collector. As such, you are able to filter here on the various sources of flow. Having a look at the traffic chart, we can see a bandwidth traffic spike from the source QA-CAT9300 to around 111 megabits per second. Let's shift to the What's Up Gold NTA Plus collector now to investigate who or what is responsible for this spike in traffic. Within the What's Up Gold NTA Plus collector's monitoring center module, you can switch to the source in question as we did in the What's Up Gold NTA Plus dashboard. Identifying the spike in the collector's graph, we then run an analysis of the top 10 statistics by conversation and adjust the analysis to sort by bits per second. We can now see that the private IPs 10.40.71.180 and .190 have consumed the bulk of the throughput when compared to the other conversations highlighted in the top 10. Copying their IP addresses to the filter window and adding a bit of logic, we will dig into the list of flows representative of their traffic, making sure to sort on bits per second. We can now confirm the traffic generated by 10.40.71.180 and .190 is HTTPS traffic, and given the source port of 443 and the client destination port, we know that they were downloading data from the public IP 13.107.5.175 and from GitHub. Switching back to the What's Up Gold NTA Plus dashboard, let's have a look at our package transferred graph where we see a trending package transferred peak at around 13,000 packets per second. That seems to be occurring in 10 minute intervals at varying points. Let's try and figure out via the What's Up Gold NTA Plus collector, what IPs are causing these peaks? After switching to the source in question, we switch the graph to a packets per second analysis, identifying the peaks seen in the What's Up Gold NTA Plus dashboard. Let's take a look at the top IP conversations for the last spike. We can easily identify the conversation responsible for the large amount of packets transferred as compared to the rest of the conversations in the top 10 output. Copying one of the IPs in question to the filter window and ensuring that we are sorting on packets per second, we run the analysis and can now see the ports being leveraged for the packet transfer and other key details like packets per second, bytes transferred, bits per second, and bytes per packet. Let's have a look at some additional insights and capabilities of the What's Up Gold NTA Plus collector. Each NTA Plus collector is not limited by the number of flow sources, but rather by storage capacity. That said, we select the collector size for you based on the goal of 30 days of historical retention, according to the number of devices supported by your What's Up Gold license. The NTA Plus collector provides dashboarding, reporting, customizable alerting, 
and as you have seen, the ability to drill down and identify the root cause of your network issues. I've created a custom dashboard to highlight a number of different charts and graphs that can prove pivotal in understanding your network traffic. Here's a historical trends chart focused on a specific source, providing insights into how current bandwidth utilization compares to utilization one, two, and three weeks ago. This helps us to understand how usage requirements are changing, giving network admins the insights needed to make network expansion decisions. Active devices in time are visible at a glance alongside previously defined alerts that tell us when network anomalies are occurring. A structure of all traffic analyzing the traffic flows of all of the sources feeding the What's Up Gold NTA Plus collector enables admins to compare and contrast traffic between sites, devices, subnets, protocols, and more. The top conversations chart provides easy access to the top conversations in your network as well as the ports they are communicating over and network utilization metrics like bytes transferred and bits per second. An analysis of top endpoints tells who your network users are communicating with, while an analysis of top interfaces provides a granular look into usage of a source's interfaces or VLANs. Want to know which network services are consuming your network's bandwidth? Easily produce these insights with a top 10 analysis of network services over TCP versus UDP. Geolocation capabilities enables us to determine how much of the network's traffic is local east to west traffic, versus north to south traffic and with which countries users are communicating. This is just a taste of the dashboard customizations that are possible and all of the details seen are available in customizable reports. These reports can be downloaded as a PDF as well as sent out on a schedule via email so that all of your network admins and engineers can maintain a regular pulse on the state of your network. See something in a dashboard or in a report that piques your interest? Click on the magnifying glass to investigate in Monitoring Center. Bandwidth consumption topologies are also available, whether visualizing pipes between geographically dispersed data centers or analyzing bandwidth consumption between networks and devices within your network. Drilling down to determine which communications are consuming a link's available bandwidth is as quick and easy as I outlined previously. What's Up Gold NTA Plus enables network operations to place a magnifying glass over their networks that powers their ability to gain critical insights quickly in pursuit of preserving optimal user experience. That concludes our demo of What's Up Gold NTA Plus today.